and welcome to Space Racer Space News. I'm Maya McGuire, here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Today, we're here to talk about the planet Mars, what makes it so different from our planet, the Earth. With me today is NASA astronaut Pierce Sellers. Thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Maya. So, what got you interested in space and science? What made you want to become an astronaut? Well, when I was a kid, about your age, I was growing up in England, and people were sending people into space for the first time. And I thought, I want to do that. Yeah. So I studied science at school, and after a lot of study and a lot of adventures, and then I got lucky, and I got to be an astronaut. What's the planet Mars really like? What makes it so unlike Earth? Well, there's a couple of things that make it really different from Earth. The first thing is, it's very small. It's about half the size of Earth. But there's no water on, on Mars. There's no oceans or lakes. And so the whole of Mars is like dry land. It's a lot further away from the sun than Earth. So it's much, much colder. Wow. And the other thing is that the atmosphere is very, very thin. There's hardly any air. There's enough atmosphere there to have some clouds and some weather and some wind. If they have clouds and winds, does it have big storms too? Some storms can get pretty scary here on Earth. Well, you remember that Mars is a desert planet. They have huge desert dust storms wow. there, five times as big. What's the land actually like? Are there mountains on Mars? There are mountains on Mars. In fact, there's one gigantic mountain on Mars called Olympus Mons. It's three times as big as any mountain we have here on Earth. Wow. Do they have deep canyons too? Sort of like our Grand Canyon? They have the biggest canyon in the entire solar system. It's called uh, Valles Marineris. <laughs> and it's two and a half thousand miles long and about six miles deep. And it looks like a big crack on the face of Mars. It's huge. Are people ever going to travel to Mars? Yes, they are. I think they're going to get there in about 20 years from now, which is perfect for you because you'll be just the right age to go. It'll take about three years to do the whole mission, about a year to get there, a year to run around on Mars and explore it, and then about another year to get back. So it's a three-year round trip, most likely. Thanks, Mr. Sellers. Come to think of it, if I plan this all out, I could be the first Martian space reporter. I could be Maya McGuire, live from Valles Marineris, the biggest valley in our whole galaxy. Well, the biggest in the solar system. Right, our solar system. Well, for now, I'm Maya McGuire at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center on Earth for Space Racers Space News. We'll see you again soon.